Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Angular, we will talk about property binding. So this is our first point. After that, we will check what is the difference between property binding and interpolation. And we will understand uh, the second point with the example. And uh, at the last, we will cover some interview questions also. So our first question is, what is property binding? So obviously, this is the feature of uh, Angular and this is used to update or change the properties of any input element. So what is the property here for input element? I will show you. So let's say you have a input box and you want to, we, it, it have some properties like name, type, placeholder and all. And you want to change these uh, properties. So Sometimes we have attributes also. So how we can change them? So for that, we have to use property binding. Yes, we can also use uh, interpolation here, but there is some difference. Difference is that when we are using interpolation, we cannot assign any um, Boolean value because interpolation is not work with the Boolean value. It will only work with the string and number and uh, property binding basically work with the a Boolean value also. That's why this is recommended. So now let's check out the example. First of all, let's say I have a property here with the name and name is let's say Peter. Fine. So now let's, uh, let's say we have an input element. We don't need these properties. So let's say it have values and we can assign here by default values like uh, name, right? And this is coming and uh, this is coming from uh, our TS file. And whenever we will just check that, Peter will be present in our uh, input box. That's okay. There is a no issue. So this is the example of interpolation. So let's say we have a uh, one more input element let me just add here some br tag for line space and when we just use this name property like this that time we call it property binding and now you will find that result will be same in both cases we can just make any change in both of them and they both are working fine so there is a no issue all right so in that case, you can say that property binding and uh, interpolation are similar, but where is the difference in both of them? As I told you, with the interpolation, we can all use Boolean values. So here I will show you. So let's take a one more property with the name of disable and it have value true. Now let's just add here disabled and here what we can do here, we can simply put uh, interpolation and let's simply use here disable right we use this disable properties here there is a no issue and now just use here disabled with the property binding and assign a disable property and now you will find that the both are disabled so you will say that still they are working same but now actual change will be find here whenever we will just make it false in that case, only property binding will be work, working fine. Here you can see that this is disabled, but this is still not disabled in case of interpolation because interpolation cannot understand this disable property as a uh, Boolean value. It just understand it's like a string value. That's why this is showing it true, right? So this is the main difference between uh, property binding and uh, inside our, uh, you can say that interpolation and with the property binding, you can just do it with the classes and name or with the other element with the ID and all. So that's, that's why interpolation is uh, not recommended with the property binding with the properties, right? So thanks for all for watching this video. Yes, interview question. The our first interview question can be directly asked what is property binding? Difference between property binding and interpolation. And they can ask that what is recommended for uh, uh, when we are assigning any value to the properties, uh, interpolation or property binding. That time you should have to say that property binding is a better option as compared to interpolation. So again, thank you so much.